So we had this idea and we're like, all right, let's make a video to show people how to make a quick and easy, cheap grind box for people that, you know, either can't afford ours or don't want to wait for ours, whatever the case might be. Let's just share some knowledge of how to make something quick, easy, um, fun to skate. And then uh, the idea was this grind box. So I was like, what do you need for a grind box? Like you can just make it out of pallets, plywood, whatever scrap wood but like a really a key component is that angle iron on the edge so the easiest cheapest way to get angle iron is probably from bed frame so i was thinking maybe we could scour alleyways like go up and down some alleys and somebody's probably throwing out a bed frame but then i thought wait technology is my <laughs> friend so offer up i was like Someone's probably giving one away. I found like three. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. And the one that I found. This is how we make boxes for now on. <laughs> At King Rants, we just do this for cheap. <laughs> the one that I found, the lady posted it like three minutes prior. So I was like, what's your address? I'm going to come get it. She was like, all right, great. Thank you so much. Yeah, so yeah. So I just got the address. And yeah, so we're on our way to go pick up a bed frame. But I mean, this is kind of like some words words to the wise of anyone that's trying to look for co coping angle iron right it's not the best i'm sure it's a little thinner grade than what we need but it'll do and it'll provide for a nice grindable edge on the edge of the box yeah oh snap you got it oh that's looking nice yeah that's some decent coping yeah this will work oh it's even got a rounded edge oh that's and you cool. can just you can just screw it in right yeah it's like it eighth inch so we can just countersink those a little bit it looks like let's see i'm pretty much six foot so my arm same is same six, <laughs> so this might be like a six foot two length it's an odd size but it's the same as my height zip that off zip that off and then boom we got coping we even have both sides That's yeah great. multiple coping hey. there we go and then watch this folds right in oh wow switchblade remember those the zero switchblade rail so we got the coping now boss man is saying we need to look for some pallets yeah i think that's uh next step because we have two six foot lengths of that coping angle iron from the bed frames that we're going to take apart um and it'd be nice to make it also a manual pad so, that's true and the other thing too ply comes in four foot increments so it'd be nice to design something where you know, whoever's doing this on their own potentially doesn't have to get out a saw or if, they, if you don't have one, you don't have to have one. So with pallets, uh, the typical pallet comes standard four foot by 40 inches. So I'm almost thinking maybe we get two of those, put those together, maybe do it too high instead of instead of just like- The baby ledge, yeah. Yeah, so it'd be like a seven or eight inch tall ledge. So we'll stack them. Um, so we got to find a good pallet source. So I'm probably gonna go you know, Ralph's or a Walmart or wherever I think pallets might be. And then the only thing left is gonna be the top. And so for the top, we just need plywood. Um, fortunately, we build skateboard ramps. So we Lots have of plywood. an endless supply of plywood. Um, so that's probably what we're gonna use. But uh, a lot of times you can find plywood on your own, you know? It might just be like in a random dumpster. If you scour an industrial area, you might be able to find some. Um, maybe even behind Home Depot, sometimes there's like things called cover sheets where, you know, maybe you'll get a stack of lumber that's a nicer sanded grade finish, and then they'll put another sheet on top and bottom to protect those ones during shipment. And then a lot of times people just throw those out. So you could go behind, uh, you know, Lowe's or Home Depot and potentially find those cover sheets and not have to spend a penny on the entire thing. But yeah. worst case scenario, if you have to buy one sheet of wood, exactly. not yeah. that big of a deal. Yeah, you could just go buy one sheet, maybe get like a, a sheet a half inch, a four by eight a half inch is gonna be currently in 2020 because lumber rates are crazy. It's like $25 a sheet, but it used to be like 17. Yeah. So yeah, maybe you spend 25 bucks on that sheet of ply, but um, that's, that's literally all you need. So evidently Corey knows a lot about pallets. He just gave me well, the rundown on all these pallets. We have to buy pallets all the time to ship various things. Yeah. Like that one on top we don't want because it's not sturdy enough. Yeah. And then below, those ones are really thin. I don't know what those are. They're like 18 inches or something. I mean, we could use those if we want to make more of like a ledge, but I feel like it'd be cool to be able to manual on this thing. So the, the OG pallet of like what we need, a 40 by 48, there is one on bottom 
but then it's like it's only one i potentially want four of the same palette yeah there's these blue ones the blue ones are super heavy though we can do some wwe and slam each other into this pile of, of uh plastic do not tempt me because i'm a huge wwe fan only wwe the attitude era though what is that uh, that was like from like 1990 to like 1996. That's Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, Mankind. The, the Attitude Era. I wanted to get four of these. This is our 40 inch by 48, but there's only one. And then there's just all these little ones. I guess we could get a bunch of these little ones. That could work. Two, four, six, eight of them. So I can just pick this guy, this guy. This. And then just chopping it. Cut this one down. Brian Betts was making fun of me. I what? Saw, Why? I saw him before I left the house, and he's like, "What are you doing?" I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna go film this video with Dan. We're gonna show kids how to make like a ten dollar box." He's like, "Why are you gonna tell people how to not buy your products?" <laughs> it's like, because some people can't actually buy our products. <laughs> yeah, like buying ramps isn't for everyone. And yeah. I realize that. But like the products that we make is obviously going to be a way better quality. It's going to wait, will last way longer. But if you can't afford it, like why not be able to have something? You know what I mean? This exactly. is what I grew up trying to skate. And this will get the job done. Your friends aren't going to be as excited to skate it, but like you will have a box. Yeah. And you will learn tricks. Yeah. Pill the full pipe. This is kind of fun. Yeah. I like this stuff. Like, this is a lot more fun than going to the shop and getting perfect brand new material and just making a box. Like, yeah. I feel like a kid again. Yeah. This is the street skating of building ramps. <laughs> yep. So we just got back to the shop. Got to feed the shop cat real quick. Oh yeah, turbo. <laughs> this is turbo. Was a stray. Still a stray, I guess. Nah. We That's... should get him a collar. I agree. It's a good boy. That says, if fine, please return to the streets. <laughs> Because Turbo belongs to the streets. Man, if only we would have found one of these pallets. Those ones we actually pay for. <laughs> cut these ones down. So the first thing we're doing is we're going to cut these down so they line up. So I'm just going to scrap a line here. Pallets aren't like fully in square. Like this is a true 90 degree angle, so we can kind of check them. Like that is, yeah, that is not. It's not a square. 90 degrees. <laughs> So keep that in mind. So for this, we're gonna need a skill saw. Um, but in the event that you just, uh, you know, you don't have a saw and you want it to be even quicker and easier, you can just like work with the dimensions you got. Maybe your coping doesn't go all the way. Maybe you have a seam or a split. Well, you can rent this stuff from Home Depot yeah. if you have a little yeah, bit of a budget can, too. You can rent pretty much all power tools. <laughs> eyeball for the cuts from the bottom yeah it's definitely fun me kind of watching you work like this because you know you're usually such a perfectionist with like all the stuff that we end up building and then here <laughs> you're just like ah, i'm just gonna eyeball this and uh this will be just rip it yeah i guess i could still just use these two by fours Sometimes to prevent splitting, you can just drill in at an angle. A lot of times this wood's just like old, dried out. Or you pre-drill it, but we're trying to be quick and dirty. Sexy. So we want to attach the tops to the bottom. I'm just gonna focus on getting one side like more or less straight, like the good side, the 90. Yeah. Kind of check this for 90 square so let's say they don't have a speed square or, uh, um if they don't have a speed square you can check uh with diagonals so i got 77 and three quarter and then i'll check this diagonal i got 78 and a quarter so i'm pretty out of square so then that'll determine like make that smaller Let's check again. 78 dead nuts. 
and 70 dead nuts. Okay, you don't have a tape measure, you have no arms, <laughs> <laughs> and you don't recognize numbers. You're what do you do? You're a dog. <laughs> yeah. right, so I'm gonna attach this to here. It's kind of tricky getting the angles. I want to hit that two by four, obviously. So it did one there. I wanted to hit that one, so I had to go mean angle that way. Then I want to get one here, so right there. I guess why we don't have to go too crazy on attaching all this to each other is we're gonna put a layer on top and that layer on top is, is gonna attach into all of this. So that's gonna kind of hold it together as well. But I mean, my dad always told me you should, uh, you know, overbuild so you don't have to go in and beef it up later. Damn, this should've been the box that Dale got. Here, Dale, your dream box. <laughs> what was the best trick that happened on that box? Can you not like flip nose slit it? Really? Yeah, he was trying nollie flip crook, but he never got it. How, best trick was anything I did on it though. How much of it did he nollie flip nose slit? <laughs> okay, you're a dick. <laughs> we got 40 inches by 67 and a half, which is cool because that bed frame was six foot, so we just gotta shave a little off. No what is this, particle board? This is like an MDF. So yeah, it's like a particle board and then it just has this like uh, laminate, I think it's called. It's like a sticker. And this was just used as a cover sheet. Like I think we got like uh, some skate light or something and they just put this on top so it doesn't get damaged during shipment. Yeah, why not just stay so, yeah, true to what we said like, and use a cover we're sheet? We're like never gonna use this. Yeah, let's do it. So, it is like, like a vinyl wrap essentially. So it's slick. It like, probably lip slide pretty good. Probably won't even need that much wax, if any, for sliding. Except for we live in California, so we're gonna put so oh, much wax sure on it. Wax. It's gonna be coated in wax. Let's clear some... coat it. Let's wax it. Let's pour some... coke on it. For those of you who don't have a panel saw, um, you would just lay this out on some saw horses or directly on the pallet snap a line or draw a line, scribe it with like a, a straight edge um, and just, you know, cut with your skill saw. Here. Yep. We're just gonna attach it. Um, go into those two by fours on the side. We don't necessarily have to like go nuts here. See how this reacts. Oh, that's perfect. Whoa. I don't even need a countersink. So this box is literally free. Yeah. The pallets are free. And this was just a cover sheet, which thankfully we have cover sheets because we deal with the wood, but anyone could probably find these. Like I said, Home Depot or Lowe's, like you can find cover sheets. Yeah. You could probably even go to a lumber yard and say, hey, do you have some cover sheets? And they'll probably just give you one. They'd be like, oh yeah, they got to throw them away anyways. Yeah. And then the coping is the bed frame. And, and I will say, uh, having like houses built near you, me and my friends, like, would go around the neighborhood to the new houses and be like, oh, hey, do you yeah, have any yeah. extra wood? And they would always give us particle board, like, nice. like fresh sheets of particle board. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that could be another way you could get some wood. We're just giving ramps away. Yeah. Merry, Merry Christmas. I feel like we should give something on the face. Like, let's make it clean. We got 10 and a quarter. You want me to plug the burner in <laughs> so we can burn our logo into the side of it? We'll use vinyl. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that's our angle here. We'll be like, here's how you make a free box. But then we'll like pay shipping for the sticker. You gotta, you gotta buy the stickers. <laughs> you gotta buy the Keen sticker to put on the box. Super high quality sticker. Yeah. I will say that having this here will make no slides and stuff work a lot easier. Right? So maybe adding this isn't a bad idea if you're a big tail slide, no slide guy to have something on the side. But it's easy. You just measure the height of it and then just cut a sheet of wood to those dimensions. Here we go. And it's, it's perfect. It's done. Grind it up. Where's the wax? I know all those like hardcore skaters out there, they like, like, oh cool, the rail has a bear trap. Like, oh, yeah. that's sick. It's harder to skate. Yeah. Perfect. Here you go. We'll pop out here. <laughs> Come all seriousness, we do need to like cut these off. Getting the safety goggles ready. Well, they're not goggles or glasses. Shout out uh, happy hour. So we got our grinder. We have our eye protection. And we're just gonna cut this off right here. I'm gonna kind of like suss out both sides. Like that's definitely like a rivet. Um, check the other one. If you don't have a grinder, maybe like hit up a neighbor or somebody. Like somebody probably has a grinder in their uh, plethora of tools. Or worst case scenario, home depot. Rent one. There we go. So 
Okay, we're getting closer. So we got that. Oh, wow. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna have to cut that off, cut that off. Oh, also cut this end off. The popover end, the bear trap? <laughs> yeah. So what are you doing right there? Well, uh, right there, I'm just rounding over the edge just because when you come out of a grind, um, you know, the slightest like little sharp edge or just any like piece of metal coming up just, just create some friction or, or maybe like you fall and hit your hip on this if it's rounded over, less likelihood of like tearing up your clothes or something. Well, Most important tool that we have in this whole thing. What, your chocolate milk? Yeah. I like to use a 3 16 yeah, so 3 16 is nice because it's like a little bit bigger than the neck of the screw. Okay. So that gotcha. way there's not like resistance of it going in. Um, so now I got a countersink bit. They have these uh, at most hardware stores, a little Christmas tree kind of looking thing. So that's gonna bore out the edge. But it makes it uh, just a bigger opening like this so it'll sit flush in there. The screw yeah. will sit flush in there so you don't feel the screw head when you so grind over this, it. The screw head can sit just nice and flush. Boom. So your trucks are never gonna feel that. All right, I'm gonna hit it with a little spray paint uh, just so it grinds better. And then like the areas that I, I hit with the grinder, like those are gonna rust um, pretty fast. Just gonna paint it black, make it last longer, doesn't it rust? Makes it look cleaner, more finished. Get that right to the edge. So there you have it. The box is complete. I feel like it looks a heck of a lot better than I thought it was going to. <laughs> it looks like a good box. Like it looks legit. <laughs> it even looks kind of styly with like a nice finished side, black coping and yeah. like a gray top. Like it looks like something that would be in somebody's like training facility minus like seeing pallets on the I was going to say until you go wow. You know, since it is technically a Keen Ramps box, but I'm not like super proud of it. Like this is sick, a Keen Ramps box. We're going to do this little baby logo on there. I don't really like that it, there's that bump right there, but you can't be like too much perfectionist for this. Yeah, it Definitely going to want to like have a, uh, furnace removing dolly oh yeah if you, that looks sketchy hopefully this teaches some kids that otherwise never thought they could like build their own skate obstacle yeah proper box handling <coughs> throw this on his edge hike it up throw this guy here boom you're really set on doing this whole shindig by yourself. I mean, if one person can do it, though. Well, there's just a thing like you're not here. Oh, I'm not. Yeah, you're just, you're just a fly on the wall. Oh, look at that. That's like a perfect. It fits like a glove. This might just live in my truck forever. <laughs> All right, first grind. It's actually really slick. It's spooky with that wax. It's so scary with the wax. Oh, that's what I was scared of. Look at your slip out mark. Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. <laughs> I'll give it a couple more. I'll take that. Good enough. <laughs> yeah, big dog. This is like a really good entryway into making your own box. 
If you don't have your own tools or you don't have the means of getting all the materials, you can always order from us. We make a brick box that's 12 inches tall. We make a 10 inch tall uh, by four foot long and a six foot long. We have a new little six inch tall like slappy ledge. Um, we'll probably come out with some other like benches down the line. We have a tranny ledge, which is one foot tall with some transition up to it. So um, if you're not a DIYer, uh, no worries. We have you covered with all the various boxes that we have. And if you find yourself looking to do something like we did, more power to you and you know, keep in touch with us on all the social media platforms and look out for new obstacles that we're making and can't wait to show you how to make more stuff. <laughs> so I think this might be the beginning of a series for us where we're gonna show you how to build a kicker super low budget, how to build a wedge ramp uh, low budget, maybe an obstacle that we don't even offer super low budget. And uh, if you do go ahead and build yourself one of these using the, the way that we went about it, please send us your uh, finished product. Oh, uh, we, we'd love to see it and maybe throw it up on our Instagram, throw it on our story. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, until the next video.